The device facilitates the administration of the drug, including self-administration by patients at home. In addition, adjustable comfort settings, including the way the device performs the injections, is available. Patients should receive training by a doctor or nurse before they can use the device. General precautions are available in an instructions for use booklet that comes with the device and should be read prior to use. This is an electromechanical device that automatically injects a preset dose of medication. Through single use needles, it inserts and retracts with each injection. The skin sensors around the needle cavity detect if the device is positioned correctly onto the skin. You can remove the battery to charge it or charge the battery outside of the device. Key features of the device include the injection button, the front cover, the touch screen, the on off button, the cartridge door latch, the needle cavity, the skin sensor, the battery latch, and the rechargeable removable battery. This includes a USB-C port and a charging indicator light. Confirm the battery is fully charged before using the device for the first time. Fully charging the battery will take about two and a half hours. A fully charged battery can power the device for about 30 days. The battery level of the device is displayed at the top every time you go to the home screen. You can charge the battery while it's in the device, or you can remove the battery and charge it outside of the device. Inserting a new cartridge. If there's a cartridge in place, the screen indicates how many doses remain in the cartridge. Each cartridge contains three preset doses, and it is placed in here. The information screen will inform you whether you need to insert or replace the cartridge. Note that it will only accept a new full cartridge. You insert a new cartridge like this. Go to the menu, select injection settings, select remove replace cartridge. Check the mark. Open the cartridge door, insert the new cartridge. When a cartridge is in place, and when you're ready to proceed, you would simply press start. Note that if you press start without a cartridge installed, the information screen will tell you to insert a new one. To perform an injection, press and hold the on-off button until the display switch is on. After a few seconds, the home screen will appear. Now press the on-screen injection button, insert a new needle, first remove the paper seal, and insert it into the device as shown. Wait for the needle attachment. Now remove the needle cap. Now press the device against the skin, making sure that the skin sensor comes in contact with the skin. The white light around the injection button will illuminate white. Press. Do not hold the injection button. This is an electromechanical auto injector and there is no need to keep holding the injection button. When the injection is complete, the white light will stop flashing and you will hear a chime sound. The information screen will tell you that the injection is completed and you can remove the needle by reinserting the needle cap. Wait for the needle to be detached. Then press the needle cap to the right as shown. 
If data transfer is activated, the data transfer will start immediately following the injection. We will now set the device settings. Go to the menu and click device settings. You can turn data transfer on or off and confirm. You can personalize the device. There's a high contrast mode and different color themes. There's a volume control, high, medium, low, or mute. Tap to confirm. There's also a language option. The date and time format can be set again. And there's also a screen that provides system info. Continuing to look at the menu options, let's now view the history. There is a calendar view where each injection is marked and also partial or missed injections are indicated. There is also a list view where each injection with date and time is indicated. There's also a clinical summary. And we can set injection sites, but we can't really, we have to do that with the setup, don't we? Yes, I think so. Okay. Let's continue with the injection settings. The first option is sites and depth. You can set the injection depth, 12, 10, 8, or 6 millimeter depths are available with a 29 gauge needle. You can also turn on the rotation guide and view the settings. If you would like to have the rotation guide turned on, this should be discussed with the doctor who will help the patient decide where to inject. To set the injection sites, tap the check mark. The rotation guide allows many different options for performing the injection, and each is presented to the patient when they perform their injections. There are front and back views, and each injection site can be controlled with different needle depth settings. Going back, we can also set the speed of the injection. Three options are available, fast, medium, and slow. There's also the hold time. 21 seconds up to three seconds are available. This is the amount of time that the needle will remain in the skin. You can also remove and change the cartridge. And you can set reminders in the injection plan. It can be turned off or on. And the days of the week and a time for the injection can be set.